How to create and add custom header in Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's tutorial we are going to go over everything needed to successfully add a custom header and basically to customize everything to your likings. So without further ado, let's get started. To get started, you do want to head over to the general online store settings right here on Shopify and then you basically have to select the theme that you want to edit the header on. Now, in my case, I'm actually going to use the dawn theme for this just because i think it is the best free theme out there however this is also going to work basically the same for all of the other themes out there so no matter if you're going to use the spotlight theme refresh theme craft theme sense theme and so on this is going to work perfectly fine so to get started you do just want to head over to customize right here and then you are going to be redirected to the Shopify theme editor. Now I assume most of you are probably already familiar with this. However, let me just quickly introduce you to this. Are you struggling to find new customers for your store? Now, no worries, we've all been there. However, with the partner of today's video, Viral Ecomads, you can actually supercharge your sales just within a few days. Now, with Viral Ecomads, you're getting proven to convert ad creatives for all sorts of different ad campaigns. So no matter if you do want to promote your product on TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, or if you do want to buy UGC ads, Viral Ecomm ads has its all. Through these ad creatives, Viral Ecomm ads actually already generated over $30 million in sales for their customers. And through my link down below and with the code KRAUSE, you can actually save an additional 15% off all of your purchases. First of all, right here on the left, you are going to see an overview of all of the different sections, blocks, and basically items inside your online store. You can then actually also select these. And once you've selected them, you're going to have all of the different settings right here on the right. Now you can actually also change the view of your whole site by using these icons right here. This is super powerful because nowadays most people are actually on mobile. So it makes a lot of sense to actually also customize customize your page so that it suits the general mobile view, okay? Then as for desktop, we can now actually get started with customizing the header right here. So as you can see in our header, we are going to have two different items. First off, we do have an announcement bar. Now an announcement bar is actually great to display all sorts of different incentivizers on why people should buy something as buy something from your store. So this could be stuff like, for example, a certain kind of a discount code, a certain offer and so on. So to actually change the text right here of this announcement bar, you will simply just have to select the announcement bar block and then you can change the text right here. So I'm just going to rename this to shop all products. And then I'm actually going to link this to the all products tab right here so that whenever someone is actually going to click on this announcement bar, they're going to re be redirected to the all products tab. So now we can actually also add an other announcement onto this. So I will just add this and I'm just going to name this example one, two, three. Now we actually do have the option to use these arrows to actually rotate in between these announcements. However, you can simply just select the uh, announcement bar right here, basically the parent. And then you can also select that this should actually auto rotate and you can even set the uh, time on when, when this should actually should automatically rotate. Now, as for the general settings right here, you can actually also change up the color scheme for this. So by default, you are going to have a lot of different features which you can actually use for your store. However, I would actually recommend you to basically customize this and to change this to a, your brand and to your brand identity. Now you can actually use tools like kudos.co for this. Uh, basically with this tool, uh, you can just generate all sorts of different color palettes, uh, which you could then use for your store. Now, these aren't going to be perfect all of the time. However, this still can give you a good idea on what you could actually use for your store because adding custom colors onto your store will just basically lift your brand identity and in general can actually lead to a higher conversion rate as this generally just basically means that your store is seen as more premium. You can actually change the color schemes by heading over to the theme settings on the left and then clicking on colors. And you can then set them right here. Now these theme settings basically just work as the default settings for all across your site. 
So if you're going to change these color settings right here, this is then automatically going to be applied for all of the elements where these are going to be used. So let's now head back to the sections and let's now actually get to the header part right here. So first off, we can actually change the desktop logo position. We are going to have four different options for this. First off, top, center, uh, top left, then top center, as well as middle left, and then middle center. Now, I personally really like the middle center option right here. However, as you can see, by default, this is actually just the plain Shopify logo. So to actually change this, you will have to once again head over to the theme settings and then click on logo right here. Then you will have to select the image, so basically the, just the logo that is going to represent your store. In my case, I'm simply just going to upload my plain black logo for this. We can then actually also change up the desktop logo width. So for example, we can make it a little bit bigger. I will actually make it, yeah, I think something like this does look good. And we can now actually continue with customizing our header. So in this case, we can then actually also change the menu. These menu items right here can be completely customized. And to do so, you will just have to click on this little icon right here, which is then going to redirect you to this main menu tab. Alternatively, you can just access this through the navigation item right here and by then clicking on main menu. You're then going to have different kind of menu items inside right here. So I'm just going to delete this for example. And then you can actually also add new menu items onto this. So if you for example do want to add an all products tab right here, you can do so. And you can then actually also make this and basically connect this to the correct page. In this case, I would then probably just select products and then all products and I can then actually add this onto the store. We can actually also subdivide these menu items. So if you, for example, do want to subdivide this all products tab right here, I would then probably just rename this clothing, I guess, and I'm then going to uh, select the clothing collection. And we could then make it so that this clothing item is actually going to be shown right beneath the all products tab. To do so, just drag this under the all products thing and then drag it to the right. And now if we're actually going to save this, and if we're now going to head to our online store, this is going to take uh, some seconds to actually show up. So let me just save this and then quickly reload the page. As you can see, now we do have this all product section right here, and we can then also see the clothing section right here, which is completely clickable. So let's now continue with the other header settings. As for the desktop menu type, you can change this up. You can, for example, change this to draw right here. Uh, and this is just, this just comes down to your preferences. I personally mostly just leave it at drop down. As for the sticky header option right here, basically you are going to have four different options. First off, if you have selected none, your header will just show up right on the top of basically your page. If you do have on, scroll up. Uh, if you are, for example, on the bottom of your page, and if you're going to slightly scroll up, this is instantly going to show up. Now, this works really good because if someone, for example, does want to navigate on your store, they do need the header for this. So I would actually recommend you to always either select on, scroll up, or you can also select always, like this, your header is always going to show, or always reduce logo size, like this, you are going to have this simple logo animation right here which I think actually does look pretty good. Now, then once again, you can actually change the color scheme of your header. As you can see, you are going to have the option. I will not go into that right now. And then you can actually also disable uh, the country or region selector if you do want to. Now, I would actually recommend you to leave this turned on if you're going to market your product internationally. As for the language selector, you can also select that right here. Then we can get to the mobile layout to actually customize this. Let's change the view to mobile. And then we can change the mobile logo position to left, for example. However, I would recommend you to just leave this at the center. Now we can actually go ahead and save this. And if we're now going to preview our store, so let's quickly opt out of this. If we're now going to click on view your online store right here, this is going to show up. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And as a small bonus, I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. So make sure to check that out using the link down below.